Tonight, days after that massacre at Robb Elementary, the community clearly still reeling. Yeah, law enforcement agencies from across Texas are trying to help out by offering their support. The night team's Lee Waldman shows us they're showing the heart of Texas is with the city of Uvalde. Their cruisers are lined up one by one. So I'm with Ingram Police Department. I'm a lieutenant with the Hempstead Police Department. 57 agencies, more than 180 officers, all here to help after the Robb Elementary School shooting where 19 students and two teachers were killed. Without question, I wanted to come here for the officers. Now that I've been here, um, I'm overwhelmed with the community. Sergeant Adrian Ruiz and Chief Homer Delgado with Dilly Police Department led the effort to get the departments here putting out a call to action with the Texas Police Chiefs Association. He called us back and said, are y'all ready for what I'm sending? And we said, yes, please do. Please send them. More officers from other departments are still on their way. For some, it's more personal than others. Got the notification that an active shooter situation was going on at my elementary school. Um, so that, that hit close to home when I heard about it. And immediately I knew where I wanted to be when I had the opportunity to be here. My children were, were in that school as well, so I understand what, what it felt like for those for those families not knowing they're all here for the same reason to take over duties and allow the community the people the time and resources to mourn grieve and begin to heal I, I don't want this to be about us and what we're doing with one another and uh, for them it's just it's about them and, and preventing this from ever occurring again the law enforcement mission is called Operation Coyote Overwatch. It's in honor of the high school mascot. Sergeant Ruiz tells me that all of these departments will be inside the city of Uvalde for as long as they're needed, no matter how long that takes. Live in Uvalde, Lee Waldman, KSAT 12 News.